Uh, hi everyone. Time for the final conclusions on this Bob Punk ten dollar radio. Well, first off, the sound quality is not that great. Yes, I don't have the speakers installed yet. I have the wrong spacer rings. But I figured if I'm going to do a three-parter, I'm going to just uh, just go with it. So I have almost all the other speakers, and I can sit there and listen to listen to them. So. This was the only speaker that was blown in the original installation. And, yeah, and this is for the conclusions, but I'm also going to show you a little some little trick here. If you don't know what the polarity of your wiring is, like I didn't, take a 9-volt battery, take the original speaker, and touch it. See how it goes in the cone is coming up? The cone should be going down if it's in the correct polarity. So if we can get it to do it, you see it's going down and towards my leg. That means that this here is positive, so this is going to be positive, the straight one, and this is going to be your negative. And that's going to be how you're going to wire your speakers. Now I've built little adapter harnesses for it that look like, that just look like that, real simple. Some speaker wire and a set of connectors once uh, you know using some connectors from harbor freight but anyway back to this thing the sound quality is not great it kind of lacks a certain amount of fullness and depth and you know what if you're gonna put it in something like a jeep where somebody's gonna steal the radio anyway if it's good radio you know what for 10 bucks you can afford to have them steal it leave the thing open don't don't tell people and, and just don't care because you're just going to end up replacing them. But here's the other problem. I'll see if it does it this time. It sit out in the sun. And now look at the display. Now, it's not even warm, the display. So, obviously there's a serious problem with the, with the backlight or something. It's pulsing. It just looks like crap. This thing hasn't been in here but about four hours. Now you leave this in the sun. And we'll get a copyright strike for that. But screw it, I got like less than 60 subs right now, so it doesn't matter. This is just more of a consumer service. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't glow brightly, and there's a problem with that. And honestly, there are other, other options out there. If this thing's sitting out in the sun in a car with the windows open, and granted it has a sunroof and the sunshade is pulled, but on the Mini Cooper... That's your sunshade is kind of, you know, it, it's a mesh. So it's going to let some sun through. But with the sun shining on it, it it's going to be terrible in a Jeep. Because in a Jeep, you have the roof off. It's summer. You're not protecting your $10 radio. So, honestly, you probably want to look at something else. This is not going to work out for you. And what I'm going to end up doing is I've got an older Pioneer that does have HD radio. It's got better sound quality. And I picked it up at a junkyard out of a Ford Escort and paid like 27 bucks for it. It's a CD player. The CD player part doesn't work on, but that doesn't really matter. It doesn't have Bluetooth. That's the only reason I didn't just use it. And I think I'm just going to end up using that in this car. It's kind of a shame because this one, at least on... Uh, time when the li lights aren't on Which you can't see that now anyway um, That's it integrates better because it's got a matte finish just like the rest of the, the center stack in the Mini Cooper, but If I can't if I'm in a situation where I cannot see the display You know why am I going to sit there and why am I going to bother putting this piece of crap in my car? If you want to use it for a Bluetooth speaker, it's probably okay. It's probably better than some than the unit I showed in episode one. But if you're putting it in your regular car, unless you really, really don't want to have something with a, another off-brand on it, consider something else because it's really not worth it. It's worth it for 10 bucks into a junker or into a golf cart or whatever, but... Yeah, I'll let you make the decision on that. Personally, I'm not putting it in my car.
I may leave it in here for a little while so that I can listen to the radio, but it's going to get changed out. It's just not worth it. Anyway, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you think. If you disagree with my conclusions, then please make, sh make sure you say so in the comments below. And as always, have a good day.